Sagittarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general reading for the week of January 8th to the 14th, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for taking the time to subscribe. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would so much appreciate that. So Sag, for this reading, I am using Wheel of the Year. One of my most favorite decks. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. January 8th to the 14th, 2018. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right, Sag. Your cards feel good. Just keep in mind, Sag, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, you could look at your moon, your rising signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. Links to absolutely everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Right below the, yeah, right below the video in the description box. So those of you that have been following me from the very beginning know that I like to change it up. So, I'm changing it up this week, but giving you guys more cards. Okay, uh, the next card is going to be your overall energy for the week. Nice. And the card at the bottom of the deck, wow, very nice. The Fool, you also get the Wheel of Fortune in this deck with this card. It represents, you know, a new beginning, starting down a new path. It does require a risk or a leap of faith. You know, but things definitely, um, maybe picking up the pace. Let me see here. You're starting out with the energy of the Ace of Pentacles, which is your overall energy. So we have this, you know, it's beautiful, new beginning coming in. It's going, it's going to add a great deal of security, stability to your life. So for some of you, this can be, Sag, a new job, a lump sum of money, an inheritance, maybe a settlement of some kind. You know, this could be a new home. You know, what's interesting is we're, st we're starting out with the energy of the Ten of Swords. So, Zedge, this is definitely you ending a difficult chapter within your life. You know, you've gone through the worst of something. You're ending, you're ending this. You know, and, and I do have the Four of Swords right next to it. So this is you definitely healing. This is you overcoming whatever these challenges, difficulties were, but you're healing. You know, there's definitely been challenges that you have been dealing with. You know, I also have the Ten of Wands underneath the Ten of Swords. So, you know, we do have two tens here, you know, and tens do represent, you know, well, first, tens do represent, you know, we talk about completion, you know, completing cycles and moving on to new beginnings. Tens break down to a one, and here's your one as the overall energy. So this is, this is done. This is over. You know, you you are moving on to a new beginning. You know, many of you might have gone through a very um, difficult time. 
you know, cycle or chapter within your life. You know, and, 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 it, and it really could have been a very difficult chapter or cycle within your life. You know, it could have really been some been something that was really starting to weigh, you know, weigh you down. Something that was very stressful. You know, the Ten of Wands can be that burdensome, stressful energy. And I think that for many of you, you know, you have been patient. You know, you've been waiting to completely close the door on a difficult time within your life. But I honestly see you starting to do that. With the fool, you are starting down a new path. There are very well, there could be very very important information or communication that comes to that comes in for you this week you know that's definitely going to start to bring in healing i do see you healing the past i see you healing from a difficult cycle within your life and then we have this beautiful ace of pentacles that's coming in you know, with the Seven of Wands, you've been very strong. You know, this is you having courage, standing firm with what it is that, that you've wanted. And for some of you, this is a new job, a new home. You know, with the Seven of Wands, this is you standing firm or standing up for what it is that you want. You know, you're you're definitely you might be talking, but you're not compromising. You're not settling. You're not compromising. You're you're, you're sticking to something. You're sticking something out, hanging in there, and standing firm with whatever it is that you want. So, <clears throat> if this was, let's say a new home or a new job. This is something that you have really been pushing towards. And we do have the world. And this is completion. And I mean, it's just awesome because you have two tens and now you have the world. And, and, I, and I honestly, Sag, I feel like it's just a beautiful confirmation. Very honestly. That you are completing some cycles here. Some cycle or even with the world, a very, very long chapter within your life is finally now, you know, coming to an end and you're moving on to that new beginning, that next chapter. You know, the world does represent, you know, rebirth. Just like judgment, but we'll get to that. But With the world card, even though it is an, an amazing energy, it could be a bit of a process with the world card. You know, it's it's easing slowly from one cycle or chapter of your life and then easing into the next cycle or chapter of your life. But I feel like this is something that has been ongoing but I think you're really, really starting to make progress. I feel like you're absolutely moving away from this challenging energy for sure. This is behind you. And there's, and there's a lot of healing energy with it. There really is. A lot of healing energy around you with the Four of Swords and now with Judgment. You know, and this really is the epitome of rising up from difficulties. You 
You know, it is rebirth. It's seeing the light. It's really is hearing the call. I just absolutely love it in this deck. It's just getting it, rising up. You know, and it's rebirth. And you have two cards in this reading that talk about, you know, rebirth and new beginnings. Putting the past behind you. You know, putting this difficult, stressful energy behind you and really moving forward. Moving towards this new beginning that's very solid, stable, grounded. For some of you, an offer could be coming in with the Page of Pentacles. This could be in regards to a new job. With the Page of Pentacles, this is news, communication. It also could be an opportunity that's coming in for you. For others, this could be an offer coming through in regards to a new home. Maybe there's... You know, with the Seven of Wands energy was you definitely not budging on the price of your home. If you've been trying to sell your home, that's for you. You're not budging. You want what you want and you're not settling. But this is coming to completion, if that's the case. For others of you, this could be like an inheritance situation or a family situation, something to do with assets. And then maybe for others, you know, it could have something to do, it could be legal, something legal with judgment here. You know, this could be like a settlement that's coming in or a decision, a judgment call. We definitely have communication coming in. For some of you, you know, we have offers coming through. We have the Empress. And she also represents new beginnings. A lot of new beginnings coming through here. A lot of happiness. A lot of things happening this week. The Empress, you know, the Empress... You know, it can also be a motherly figure or your mother. This could be a woman that, you know, that's very important in your life. This could be a woman that you're hearing from. This could be a person that is communicating with you. For others, this is your energy, being very creative, giving birth to something new. You know, starting, starting down that new path. Really, this new beginning. For my women, if you have been trying to conceive, definitely, absolutely with the energy of the Empress, new beginning, things moving forward. Because, you know, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Well, the Knight of Swords is under this too. Definitely things really moving forward. You know, definitely if you've been trying to get pregnant, Give that a go this this week. Some of you could be delivering this week, having your baby. Beautiful energy here with the Empress. I definitely see you giving birth. I see you walking down a new path. Definitely moving towards a new chapter within your life. And for, de for some of you, I'm definitely sensing a new home. Some of you are definitely moving to a new home. Definitely. Let me get you a um, guidance card, additional confirmation to the reading. Let's see what comes up for Aquarius. Aquarius. Why did I say Aquarius? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, 
additional guidance for Sagittarius. Wow, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Wow, this is beautiful. So again, my beautiful Sagittarius women, if you have been trying to conceive, absolutely, there's your clarification. Go for it. This is the week. And have fun trying. Others of you could actually be giving birth this week. If that's the case, congratulations. Or maybe even someone someone else within the family definitely be welcoming, you know, a new family member. A new, you know, new, a new member, addition to the family. No, but this is also a happy change. So it's not always, you know, um, an addition or a new or a new family member. You know, it's also, you know, a happy change. You know, a new home, a new job. There's some sort of beautiful new beginning that's definitely coming through for you guys this week, Sag. Absolutely beautiful. Very nice. And if things have been stagnant, haven't been moving forward with this card and the energy of this card and the Wheel of Fortune, things are definitely going to pick up the pace big time. All right, Sag, I hope that the reading helps you guys out for the week. If not, look at your other signs. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.